Oh my goodness, when did this happen? Hey guys, how's it going? Amanda here from The Front Acre and we are embarking on a new hatching journey today. Uh, really a new endeavor altogether. We have some Jumbo Caternix quail eggs. We got these from My Shire Farms and um, we're gonna be incubating them, obviously, and you'll notice we got a new incubator. <laughs> the reason for that is uh, the last, the one we had before when we hatched the chicks, I feel like it just, the heat distribution was really uneven and I feel like that contributed in part to a lower hatch rate. And the thing, without getting into all of the nitty gritty, we'll get rid down to that later about the hows and whys of quail. But one thing I wanted to point out, the reason we got the newer incubator is because quail have had the instinct to sit and nest completely bred out of them. So if you want more, you gotta incubate them. That being said, we wanted to make sure that we had a really good incubator that we could rely on for doing that. Um, this is a Nurture Rate 360. It's the one that I've seen recommended the most in both quail and chicken groups on social media, YouTube, etc. So it has a kind of steep price tag, which hurt a little bit, but um, in the long run, um, I think it's gonna pay for itself. Now it's been on since yesterday, last night, just to balance everything out. And now we are ready to put our eggs in. So let's get that done and get our start countdown started for our baby quail. quail eggs are going on lockdown tonight, so I'm going to go ahead and candle them real quick, take out any bad ones, and then we've got three days to go. Well, that one looks good. That's one. That one's open. That one's good. Two. That one's tiny. I heard it's on that one that's so be. small. Looks pretty open to Does me. Does it look see through to you? Mm. Okay. It's hard to see, it was tiny. It's a big one. Oh, these are doing better than I thought. This incubator, I have had a time with the humidity. Um, I think there's just a learning curve to it that I hadn't learned yet. So I was a little unsure how well these would do. but. Seems like they're doing okay. Okay. So it looks like only two that were not fertile. Let's see if I can gently take this out without jostling those too much. Okay. Okay. Three more days and we'll have baby quail. We're almost done. Oh my goodness, when did this happen? You weren't supposed to hatch for two more days and look, there's another one wiggling. You guys are early, hello. The kids just were like, oh, I didn't know there was quail hatching today. Neither did I. Oh my goodness. I did not know that Hello, little either. quail. This is Friday morning. They were not due till Sunday. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Oh my goodness, that one is wiggling, wiggling. So that one might be soon too. Hello! I have surprise! Surprise! I wonder what this one will be. Well, that's a pleasant surprise. Oh my goodness. 
This one over here is opening. He was hitting it earlier. Oh, one there's one back moving. there. That's moving and opening up. And then over here we have a pip there. And back there. Oh my goodness, they're all hatching early. Holy cow. These guys are fast. And one's opening Look here. Look at, oh, you got a wing out. He's looking at me, he's like, come on, I need a friend. You can do it. Daddy was right. They do pop out like popcorn. They're fast. Is that Look at one? that one. He's got a pop out. That's not even the one that I thought was going to come next. Because one of those other eggs was a moving a lot. A brown one. Yeah. I see part of his beak. Oh, there's his head. <laughs> he's like, look, a friend. And that one's like sleeping, doesn't even notice. Goodness, they are all just popping out at once. I think I like this incubator. I, I wasn't sure, one. but it seems like it worked really well. I was I a little leery, but I guess people recommend it for a reason. That, one's that is exciting. Oh yeah, it's big, lots of big work. He's trying to get out. Hey, little guy. You can do it, you're almost there. He's so tired. Such hard work. He's so tired because he because he's getting out of Eggies. Yeah, and that one back there is like really wiggling too. This little polka dotty one over here. Yeah. He's working on it. Well, he got out in a hurry. Why are you so little wet and naked? It's so hard to see with this. Look at that. Ah, the one on the back got out. This guy over here is still kind of walking around like a turtle. I don't think he quite hinged his shell enough. <laughs> but he's too tired to do anything about it. So that's three mostly out of shells. And then I counted like at least five more that are pipped. This is crazy. I can't believe how fast these guys are coming out. Lots and lots of quail. We're just gonna put this in here and then take the lid off. What? Look how many there are! Can we take out the other quail eggs? I cannot believe how many there are. You know, you've seen our hatch rates. They haven't been great, so this is awesome. This guy's a sleepy. He's a little sleepy guy. I wonder if he's not feeling so good. He's kind of limp. We'll see how he does. Ooh, that one's still attached to you, chicken. You've been carrying it around since yesterday. So we might have a little prolapse here. Hard to say, or that might just be yolk absorbing. We'll snip this egg off so he stops dragging it around. I'm sure that'll help. The yolk is snipped Yeah, he's been dragging that around since yesterday. So I don't know, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> hey, how'd you get in here? Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five eggs left. So there must be 22 hatched. Okay, five eggs left. That's a really good number. I'm about to head outside to do some gardening, but I thought that I would go ahead and maybe start talking about why we chose to get quail. 
Um, this is actually something that we have been talking about for quite a while. We first started exploring the idea of quail last summer, actually, and um, for a couple of reasons. Uh, for one, while their eggs are only about the third of the size of a chicken egg, they actually contain about three times the nutrients of a chicken egg. So they're very, very nutrient dense. And their eggs are also considered to be anti-inflammatory. So those are both really good things, especially now when we're living in a time where a lot of our food has been nutritionally depleted and we're just bombarded by so many toxins all the time. Um, just having those anti-inflammatory properties and those extra nutrients are a big bonus. Another thing about quail eggs, while duck eggs and chicken eggs, people can be sensitive sometimes. And as I've mentioned in previous videos when we got the ducks last year, usually if somebody is sensitive to chicken eggs and they're okay with duck eggs and vice versa. But some people are sensitive to both. As of last year, as far as I know, in the United States, there are zero known cases of anybody being allergic to quail eggs. So that's a bonus for those of us with sensitive digestive systems or <laughs> maybe with friends who have sensitive digestive systems where we could share these um, wonderful eggs with them. Also, they taste super, super good. Very creamy. They're really yummy. Over here with Mama Hen and her chicks to talk about another reason for quail. Also, there's goats here. <laughs> uh, so another thing, really big bonus for quail is that they grow and mature they mature really fast um you can see these other little chickies over here are about a month old and they're still quite small and will be for quite a while it takes chickens about six months before they're able to start laying eggs and depending on breed Cornish cross are ready to harvest around eight weeks, but a lot of like dual purpose birds like this won't be ready that early. It'll take several months before you can get any decent amount of meat out of them. However, quail mature much, much faster. You can see in these pictures on the screen, these are not mine. I borrowed these with permission. You can see the Instagram handle of the person who took them at the bottom of the screen. But as you can see, quail grow really fast. They mature so quickly. A standard Katornix quail is, can start laying eggs by six weeks old, sometimes earlier. They're also mature enough and full grown, ready to butcher at the same six to eight weeks old. These are jumbo Katornix quails, so they will get a little bit bigger, which means they also need a little bit more grow time, but still eight to 10 weeks for laying eggs and being ready to butcher. That is a super fast turnaround. They're also very, very good layers, and so you can have that rapid turnaround from hatching to laying more eggs and putting meat in your freezer really, really fast. It's very, very sustainable. Orner goaties. Yes. Don't eat my hat. I know it's a straw hat, but you don't eat it. So while I lock up these ducks and chickens for the night, I'll go ahead and tell you another reason for the quail. Because they're so small, you can fit a lot of birds in a small space. Um, for the jumbos, I believe it's two birds per square foot. And then for standard size, you can fit three to four per square foot. So that's a lot of birds in a small space. Um, in fact, a lot of people, you can just keep them on your patio or so a lot of people even keep them in the garage. And another nice bonus is that almost every HOA allows them. So even if you're in a neighborhood, you can still raise quail from eating eggs. So what do you think? Are quail something that you would want to try on your homestead? Let us know in the comments below, and while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. We are almost at 500 subscribers, and we would love for you to help us over the edge in that department. Until next time, I hope you've enjoyed this show, and will enjoy joining us on this quail journey. And until next time, God bless.